Hi, welcome everyone. Today we are going to discuss one of the most interesting topic in the mathematics. You all know what was that? Yes, exactly. It is nothing but Pythagoras theorem. Have you ever heard about that? Yes. Let's look at what you mean by a Pythagoras theorem. Obviously, the name suggests the scientist Pythagoras founded this one. Let's see what you mean by a Pythagoras theorem. First of all, I'm drawing a triangle here. I'm drawing a triangle. Do you know what is the speciality of this triangle? Yes, exactly. One of the angle of this triangle is 90 degree. How much? One of the angle of this triangle is 90 degree. See, we all have names. So I'm going to give some names for this triangle also. Let's see. A, B, C. So the triangle name is triangle ABC. I have already told you one angle is 90 degree. We all studied in previous class. What is the speciality of 90 degree? Yes, we call this type of triangle as right angle to triangle. What? We call this type of triangle as right angle triangle. <coughs> so, in this Pythagoras theorem, we mostly use what? Pythagoras theorem. We use right angle to triangle. So what is this right angle? Right angle is nothing but this angle. What? 90 degree angle is called right angle. So understood what do you mean by a right angle? Yes. In a triangle we have one angle 90 degree. Now let's discuss other things. Which one is the longest side in this? Yes. From this we can understand that the longest side in this triangle is AC. So the longest side or largest side in this triangle is nothing but AC. What we call this? Yes, exactly. The opposite to B. That is a right angle. We call this as hypotenuse. We call this side as hypotenuse. So we have a hypotenuse here, which is the largest side. Now we have two sides, right? Other than hypotenuse, we have two sides. What is the speciality of these two? Yes, exactly. The speciality of these two is nothing but they are in perpendicular. So they, we have two perpendicular sides. We used to give name as this one as base, right? We can give this one also as base because we can tilt the triangle, right? So we used to call this as base and we used to call this as altitude. We used to call this as altitude. We can also call it as height, right? So there are a lot of names are there for other side. So we have base here, we have altitude or height here, we have hypotenuse. By connecting these three sides, we have a theorem. That is nothing but the Pythagoras theorem. Let's discuss. See, when you look at here, I'm just giving some sides length for this. What is the length here? See, here I have base, BC, I'm giving length of this side BC as A and the side AB I am giving length of this side as AB. Now I am giving this AC as C. So we have A, B and C. Let's connect this. How? According to Pythagoras theorem, what he has given is, we can write it as C square is equal to A square plus B square. What we have? C square is equal to a square plus B square. What is the speciality of this? That is nothing but S. The hypotenuse square. Hypotenuse square is nothing but the sum of base square plus altitude square. So the hypotenuse square is nothing but the sum of base square plus altitude square. So we can write it as hypotenuse square is equal to yes, base square plus altitude square right now let's see what do you mean by hypotenuse here see we already discussed hypotenuse square then what will be hypotenuse yes exactly the square will go that side so we will get hypotenuse is which is equal to yes base square plus altitude square right so we all know how to find this square root right so hypotenuse is nothing but the root of base square plus altitude square. Now, <clears throat> similarly here, what will be a square from this? Yes, exactly. 
a square will be a square will be in this side. I am taking b square to opposite side, so it will become plus b square will go that side. It will become minus b square. Similarly, what will be b square? We can just exchange here. So c square minus a square. So we got two equation other than the main equation that is a square is equal to c square minus b square and b square is equal to c square minus a square. That is b square is equal to hypotenuse square minus altitude square similarly altitude square is equal to c square minus a square let's discuss with an example <clears throat> see i'm taking here some of the length as 3 4 and 5 what is uh, pythagoras theorem saying that is 3 square plus 4 square should be equal to 5 square Let's see whether it will work or not. What is 3 square? 3 square is nothing but we all know. 9 and 4 square what? 16. What is 5 square? 25. That is 9 plus 16. How much? 25 is equal to 25. So we got a yes. Pythagoras theorem proof. How? 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square. So that is nothing but the Pythagoras theorem. Let's take another example. See, everyone should remember that the hypotenuse should be the largest side. I am taking another example. Here I am taking 5. Here I am taking 12. Then what will this one? 30. What is the speciality of this? Let's discuss whether the Pythagoras is applicable or not here. 5 square plus altitude square. How much 12 square should be equal to 13 square? What is 5 square here? 5 square is nothing but 25. And what is 12 square here? 144. And what should be 13 square? It should be equal to? 169. What is 25 plus 149? Yes, exactly. 169, which is equal to 169. That is nothing but, yeah, Pythagoras theorem is applicable here also, right? So, we call this type of numbers. What is the speciality of these numbers? These are natural numbers, right? We can't take negative numbers here because the length of the side should be positive, right? So, the natural numbers which satisfies this type of relation is called Pythagorean triplets. What we call? We call this type of numbers as Pythagorean triplets. So, triplets is coming because three numbers are there. What type of example we taken? 3, 4, 5. It is a Pythagorean triplet. And similarly, we taken 5, 12, yeah, 13. Similarly, other examples also there like uh, 7 square plus 25 square, sorry, uh, 15 square is equal to uh, 17 square. You can check this one also. 7 square is 49, 49 plus 225, which is equal to 289, which is equal to 17 square. So, this type of numbers are called Pythagorean triplets and these numbers should be, yes, positive numbers, positive natural numbers. <laughs> now, let's discuss a problem here. See, where this type of application will come here, we will see. Here it is a, I have a wall here. I have a wall. There is a ladder which is standing on the wall. I am giving name as A, B and C. The distance between the wall and the ladder is nothing but 5 cm. And the ladder which is, yeah, standing here which has 13 cm. Now we have to find the height of the wall, right? Height of the wall. We can directly use which one? Yes, we can directly use our Pythagoras theorem. Which one? Which says that, yeah, which one is the longest side here? Yeah, AC because we have a right angle here, the opposite to that. Pythagoras theorem, we can apply hypotenuse 13. So 13 square should be equal to 5 square plus which one we have to find? BC, right? That is nothing but the height of the wall. So I am giving us x square. So 13 square which is equal to 169 and 5 square how much? 25 plus x square. I am taking this 25 to this side. So it will become 169 minus 25 which is equal to x square. So what is 169 minus 25? Yes, exactly. We all know which is nothing but 144 which is equal to x square. And we need to find what? We need to find x. So, which is equal to root 144. So, root 144 is how much? Root 144 is equal to 12 centimeter. So, that is nothing but the height of the height of the 
what so i hope everyone understood this problem these are the applications where you can use this pythagoras theorem even in real life also this pythagoras theorem is applicable like in architecture even in marine also we use this pythagoras theorem hope everyone understood this problem thank you